Dan's just asked me to come out and have a look at this van. So let's take a look. What's happening in here? Oh, one of those guys. Yeah. Um, so this is a brand new build that we're doing. Mm -hmm. And the customer actually bought the van like this. So um, they, I think the only thing they've had done is had a solar panel fitted to the roof by somebody else. So they bought this brand, brand new or they brought it from second hand? I think somebody? second hand, yeah. Okay. Um, but probably there's a couple of things um, which probably need highlighting and that's one of, one of the things first of all is um, there are some ba battery manufacturers out there that say it's okay to connect their batteries up to their lithium batteries up to existing systems and fundamentally um, to some extent I agree there's there's some things that um, like batteries will just take a little bit longer to charge if they're using an AGM profile um, but they will charge. However, there's a whole bunch of other requirements that you know we look at when we're trying to charge lithium batteries. Um, now, in this installation, this doesn't have a DC DC charger, so the customer's got no ability to plug in at the front anyway, so that's fine. Um, but if you look down underneath the seat here, you can see. Um, how the cabling's been run and connected to that battery. Um, so, first of all, if we look at the number of connections on this terminal here and like how this has been connected and then, you know, just simply by me moving the cables, you can see how loose that is. And you come over here to the shunt and I mean, it's the same thing with all the connections on the shunt here. Um, probably one of the things that a lot of people won't pick up is that there's a 240 volt cable in here. Now, that's been run alongside all of the battery cabling or 12 volt cabling, which in principle is not necessarily against the standards, but we do try and separate voltages as much as possible when we're running cables, but probably the biggest issue with this here is there's no mechanical protection on this cable at all. And this goes down to this socket outlet, which is on the front of the seat box. So it's a completely unprotected cable coming straight out of the wall. So it's been installed by the battery, uh, sorry, the caravan manufacturer from Build. Um, and then I guess mechanical protection on all the cabling. It's just run all over the floor. You know, you look down here, it's just cables just run along the floor, not protected. Um, there's not even any, I mean, the best they've got here is a couple of bits of tape to strap things together. There's no cable ties, there's no nothing. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I guess just highlighting a few issues here will hopefully help people um, understand what not to do when it comes time to replace their batteries.